Nothing is better than hanging out with your friends and just grabbing a brewski and chilling on the patio. <laughs> well, I'm actually a little more civilized and prefer my liqueur, <laughs> unlike this one who can't candle his liquor. Well, I am here to tell you why beer is the healthier option all around to be drinking. And I'm here to tell you why you should be drinking hard liquor. When it comes to calories, liquor is definitely better than beer. So one shot has about 67 calories in it, whereas one beer has about 150 calories. Not to mention, beer is loaded with carbs, 13 grams of carbs for beer, whereas liquor is carb free. So maybe if you cut the beer, you wouldn't have to be uh, going to the gym so often. Well, Mitch, are you gonna pretend that you drink rum straight up? Because we all know rum and Coke is your poison. And basically, pop or soda is a poison. And in fact, one can has 11 teaspoons of sugar. So, mixed drinks are more calorie dense on average than beer. Also, beer drinkers have options. You know, Guinness, <laughs> which is like a stout, actually has lower calories. And you can go for a nice little Bud Light, little light beer. And sometimes they clock in at as low as 100 calories per beer. Well, light beer has less calories, but it also has less alcohol. So you actually have to drink more to get the same buzz, bringing you back to the same formulaic problem of all your calories. Okay, okay, but calories isn't the only thing we should be discussing. We should also be discussing things like vitamins. Lagers and stouts contain magnesium, calcium, phosphorus, vitamin B12, and soluble fiber. Also, darker beers are thought to be higher in antioxidants and be rich in flavonoids. Yeah, but that darker color is because of congeners, toxic chemicals created in the fermentation process, which are known to worsen your hangover. Okay, but also, Hard liquor has that too, if it's dark rum, or yeah. whiskey, or gold tequila. So but finish him! You got the option to go lighter. True. Also, when I drink that smooth liquor, I don't feel all gross. Studies have shown that carbonated drinks like beer create distension in the stomach, which is why you feel all bloated and gassy and so full. And this distension creates an effect called gastric emptying, whereby the alcohol moves into your small intestine faster, ultimately getting to your bloodstream and making you feel drunker faster, which is not always a good thing because we know what it's like when you get drunk too fast. You run around naked in the house on doing headstands and jumping around. I don't know. Well, maybe I'm drinking beer because I want to get drunker on less. Economical, okay? <laughs> I'm saving you money. Because I'm buying it all. And at least my drink of choice doesn't make me an aggro bro the way liquor does, eh? <laughs> Yo, give me that whiskey, bro. I'll smash you right in. So a really fun study had participants drink beer, a placebo beer, a screwdriver, which is vodka and OJ, as he would know, and a fake cocktail. These participants were then tested to see how the alcohol would affect their aggression, and they were allowed to actually shock a person who was behind a wall. There was actually not a person there, it was just a computer. But they were testing to see how often they would shock another person, and the people who drank the alcohol would shock for longer. This suggests that liquor makes you more aggressive, which might be why you become such a sour <laughs> Sally when you're sipping that Smirnoff. Well, did you happen to notice the part of that study where the people drinking the placebo vodka were also more aggressive than those who were drinking the beer, suggesting it was actually their perception of what they were drinking that was causing the aggression, not the actual liquor itself? True. Trip, 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 trip. And another study found the same results. When drinkers thought they had something with a higher percentage of alcohol, they actually ended up being more aggressive regardless if it was actually a lower amount of alcohol than they thought. So that is legitimately a pretty good point. <laughs> but I'm still here for my beer. Hope we're in the clear that this is where you should steer your drinking. But do it safely. And in moderation. So who won? Let us know what you think and what you like to drink. I mean, let's be real. I bring beer, liquor, I drink all of the above. That's true. You know, when it's you a Saturday, things are happening. <laughs> Make sure you follow us on Instagram Instagram and Twitter so you can see us get drunk on the weekend <laughs> and we will see you soon. <laughs>